Hi, this is Bino, and today what I wanted to talk about was using a base anchor using a quickie for the SRS system. All right, let's get to it. All right, so um, we've already thrown our rope into the tree. Um, this is then going to be the backside. We've gone up and over just a, a branch on the other side. It's actually going to be a free hanging um, tie in. The, the beauty of the SRS system, and I think one of the reasons it was created, was that you could throw over multiple branches and you didn't have to isolate um, your, your line. So um, for right now, we're just gonna go over one branch. Um, I'll do a simple choke. So what you'll wanna do is you'll go around the tree. <clears throat> and then you do your one wrap. You'll make a butterfly on the, the side that you just brought around the tree. And the line that's going upward, that's gonna be the part that you're gonna, you're gonna secure with the, uh, the quickie. So. Once you get it on, you wanna make sure that slick pin is always on the back side. You gotta snap it into place. So this is gonna be a simple um, choke. So then you wanna put some weight on it, make sure that it's gonna hold. So with a rough bark tree, a simple tie-in would be fine. But just say it's a slick tree and you're kind of worried about how well or it's gonna run on you that maybe you want it, you'll be more secure if you put uh, maybe another wrap. And I mean, you could probably do multiples if you wanted to, let me see. Okay, so what you want to do is untie your butterfly and just make an additional wrap. Just follow it back around. And once you get to your tie-in point, redo your butterfly. Okay, now I'll go ahead and grab this side and tighten it up. There you go. Now you'll be less likely to uh, slide and run. Okay, so um, if you since we've already got all this tied together, another good thing to put in a system like this is to have another alpine butterfly above your um, your your um, anchor. So what, what that can do, it can be uh, an emergency rescue uh, point where, so if the guy in the tree was, um, was uh, injured and you could maybe bring him down from the ground, this loop would help you do that. So um, let me tighten this up real quick. Okay, so the idea behind this if he was climbing in the tree and he wasn't like there wasn't a bunch of branches in his way, you could get a, a strap below this. You could connect like a figure eight or porter wrap and with another rope attached to this point. And providing that this could go through the crotch that's in the air or maybe when it reaches it, you could get the guy to the ground. By having that kind of a situation, you could actually lower a climber if he was injured. Okay, since we've got the base anchor tied with like a double wrap and also we have the emergency alpine butterfly connecting point here, I wanted to go over a couple of points to know about um, tying in this system. This, this side, the back side of the rope will always be under tension and it could be cut very easily. It could be cut with a, like a pole saw blade, a hand saw blade, because you've got your full weight on this. Um, be careful, people who work with you, you got to make sure they understand that. And even the, the part that's above your friction hitch, um, if you were to slice 
with your saw like on an accident, it could really cut your line uh, more easily than say the MRS system. Um, also, um, when you do a basal anchor, the tie-in point has double the weight. So once you tie here, it times your weight by two. So I'm, I'm 240 pounds, it would be 480 on the branch on top. So I got to make sure that it's going to be a branch that can hold my weight. Now, same for you. So whatever weight you are and whatever types of tree that you're using, make sure they can hold double the weight. It's different than a canopy. So with a canopy, it's just your regular weight. And you're used to climbing in that way, but in this way, it doubles you. Um, also, a real good, find, uh, good point about this is that you could actually go over multiple branches. Um, it doesn't have to be an isolated branch. So if it was a real thick tree and you could get a rope over maybe four or five branches, you could actually ascend the way up and then work your way around the tree. Um, another point I wanted to make is this, you don't just have to use a quickie um, on a, a uh, basal anchor. Um, you can also use an arborist grade quick link um, in place of this. Um, um, what you'd want to do is just have that. Oops. So just slip it into place and then screw it down. So this is an arborist grade one. Uh, actually, I believe I got it. It's a Petzl quick link or screw link. And this one's actually rated at, I believe, uh, 25 kilonewtons. Just, it just takes a little bit longer, but it works equally as well as a, um, as a quickie. And I'll just put a little bit of tension on it and make sure. All right, you're ready to go. All right, so today we went over some of the basic ideas for a uh, canopy anchor using a quickie for the SRS system. So we first did a just a single choke with a quickie. Then we mentioned that if it was a slippery tree, we might want to use a couple of wraps. Then we also um, went over using a butterfly for an emergency anchor point. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Um, like and subscribe if you like what we do. All right, take care.